Today, it's game two of three. Royals and Pirates. The Royals entered today at 81 and 67. They've clinched at least a 500 record, and with a win today, can clinch a winning record for the first time since 2015. Mitch Keller, making his 29th start of the season. 11 9, a 3 8 5 ERA. It's a 2 8 5 ERA here at PNC Park, so pitching a little better here at his home ball yard. Opponents hitting 258 against him on the season. One up, one down to begin the ball game. Bobby Wood Jr. still sitting on 99 RBIs. Fastball drilled high in the air, deep to left field. Reynolds to the track. He turns around. It's out of here. The first inning rocket from Bobby Wood Jr. And the Royals have a one nothing lead. Two batters into the game. Home run number 31, RBI number 100 for Bobby Witt Jr. in 2024. Well, I think it's a fantastic day for Bobby Witt Jr. to get RBI number 100. Talk about a little mini slump that includes a six-game hit streak. Get him on the board with a home run. Royals offense, early damage once again. Perez, nine hits and eight RBIs in his last five games. Sweeper pitch called third strike for the second out. We go to the bottom of the first in Pittsburgh. Royals won. Pirates coming up. And Pirates will get Michael Waka, who is coming off career win number 100. Congratulations to Michael Waka. He said it was a good relief, just a good celebration. 100 wins is a big, big number for a starting pitcher. That's a good plate appearance for Reynolds coming back from 0 2, and he's on with one out. Cruz was two for five yesterday, six feet seven inches tall. He fills up the left handed batter's box. Waka delivers a beautiful changeup, swung out and missed. That's strike three. And so Waka's got his first strikeout of the day. Two gone in the bottom of the first. No runs, no hits, no errors. One left for the Pirates in the bottom of the first. And we go to the second. Freddie probably got a little bit of help from the home plate umpire in that plate appearance, and he'll take the leadoff walk. Melendez lifts it high in the air, deep to the left field corner. Reynolds angles over, reaches out, slides, can't make the catch. It bounces next to him, a fair ball. Vermeen had to wait to see what would be caught. Throw to second. Out! A force out at second. As Reynolds got that ball in quickly, and they get it out on the play anyway. On a sensational play, the runner at first was unsure what to do. The ball popped out, deflecting off the walk, and Reynolds hopped up and threw to second to get the out at second base. That's a strike. And so a strikeout for Keller over the last two seasons. Leads baseball in strikeouts. Looking, he has two today already. And the Royals leave empty-handed in the top of the second. Sweeper's been a very good pitch today and all season. For 28 year old Mitch Keller throws it 15% of the time but opponent sitting just 207 against that pitch. There's a wave and a miss Tommy Pham down on strikes as that was the slider. So make it three K's on the day so far here in inning number three. A two down now with Salvador Perez coming to the plate. Keller has struck him out twice today Four strikeouts for Keller. Royals lead one to nothing. An opportunity here for the Pirates. They have first and third with two down. And the batter will be O'Neill Cruz, who struck out for the 170th time this year in the first inning today. And the pitch. And a fastball is called strike three on the inside corner. Sinker at 95. Strike at number three from Waka. And the Pirates strand a pair. We go to winning number four. So Waka has struck out four and walked three today. Been a while since Waka's issued three or more walks in a game. And the pitch. Make it five. Called strike three. So Gonzalez rung up by the home plate umpire Chad Fairchild. And the batter will be their right fielder, Brian De La Cruz. Here's the pitch and a swing and a miss. He gets him with a fastball that time. So both his strikeouts have been on the fastball in this inning. And that is six of them now as he works here in the fourth inning. So the leadoff walk does not hurt Waka. Fifth inning upon us. Mitch Keller has sent down seven in a row following an error behind him. Rangers 0 for 1. Struck out looking his first time up. Off the end of the bat and Cruz with a dive and a miss. And Adam Frazier is around second base. And on his way to third. Well, good effort by Cruz coming in. He probably hasn't had too many chances here at the ball straight at you. And that's the tough one. That's why you see outfielders having to choose. Do they go lay out like Cruz did, or do they check up and field it on a on a hop? One guarantees you a single. The other one is a risk of a great play. And now Garcia hits it into right center field. Cruz is on the move again, and that's going to be down. 
Royals get another run and Garcia is into second base with an RBI double. So the Royals have a triple and a double to begin the fifth inning. Now one out and brings up Bobby Witt Jr. with runners on second and third. And to center field and deep. Cruz will go to the track. And Bobby will drive in another run. Both runners tag. And the Royals lead 3-0. That slider, he stays on those pitches so well. Those sliders down in the zone. It's one of the most dangerous pitches you can throw to get the runner home. Job done. Triolo at second single. After a strikeout, Kinder Falefa single. Three and two on Reynolds. And down he goes. And it was a cutter. We didn't see many of those today. So third time through, Waka's mixing in some more pitches. Waka one shy of a season high in his strikeouts. He has put up some gems against the Pirates. And I was thinking, well, he hasn't pitched against him in five years. He's not the same Waka, I'm sure, right? None of these guys even remember facing him. There we go. Base hit. Triolo is in. Kiner Falefa to third on that ripping RBI single by O'Neill Cruz. 118 miles an hour off the bat. That is the kind of power that O'Neill Cruz possesses. And that ball was out of the infield in a blink. And the Pirates have their first run today. It's now a 3 1 game. Massey leads off the sixth inning with an oppo double his 14th double on the year and he gets into scoring position to begin the frame and now Freddie for me and he's going to ground it to third and it's going to get by Triolo and here comes Massey around third and the Royals get the run right back Royals lead it four to one four to one Kansas City here in the seventh now Bobby Witt Jr. Jr. hits it well into center field. And Cruz didn't read it well, and he kicks it around, and it's going to drop. And now Isbell is around third base, and he is going to come in to score. And it uh, has been a difficult day today in center field, most challenging so far for O'Neill Cruz. Well, the Pirates had them loaded here in this eighth inning, trying to come back down by a 5-1 score. Chris Bubich is one of those rare pitchers that has significantly different splits versus right-handed hitters. They only hit 196 against him. Lefties hit 364. Swung on and missed strike three. Change up down and away. Bart chased it. And Chris Bubich strikes out the first batter he faces. Bubich is trying to pick up MacArthur, who departed with the bases loaded one out. Bubich just struck out pinch hitter Joey Bart. And now two balls, two strikes on Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Swung on and missed strike three. A beautiful slider from Chris Bubich. He enters with the bases loaded and one out and strikes out back to back batters to put a zero on the board and strand three. Royals have the bases loaded on three walks. After it got to 3 1, Witt was intentionally walked. Bednar probably has felt like he's had to dig himself out of a hole every time he's taken the mound. On the ground to short. And the Pirates got exactly what they wanted. So Bednar buckles down after back to back walks. Down four. Need base runners. Two and one on Nick Gonzalez. Here's the 2 1 pitch. Fastball hit on the ground towards shortstop. Bobby Witt Jr. scoops it up, throws to first in time, and that's the ball game. The Royals have won back to back games at PNC Park. Today, the final score Royals five, Pirates one. And the Royals have won their 82nd game of the season to clinch a winning record for the first time since 2015.